you? Two. 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 Good job. Three. No, no you're not, not three. three. You're two. Liam is two. Remember, you're this many. No, wait. Oh. You're two. Oh, you just, you're so excited to be three. <laughs> You'll be three next year, baby. Three. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 27 years young. Uh -huh. And you're not going to say how old you are. <laughs> no, I'm 28. I'll be 29 in November. Yep. And Phil will be 28 in December because he's a baby. Yeah, so much younger. <laughs> he used to, a cougar. Yeah, I was just going to say he used to tease me that I was a cougar. But... He snatched me up, uh, I guess, down from Canada. But what's funny is I actually always thought I would marry Mommy. an older guy. I think Mommy. just because my mom, Mommy. my Mommy. dad's five years older than my mom. Mommy. Yes, honey. Mommy. Are we? Yeah, we're filming a video. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Say, Mwah. I love you. Yeah. Can you blow a kiss? <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> We are headed to Dollar Tree and there's a shopping center we like to go to that has a Dollar Tree, a Michaels, um, there's a Kohl's, a TJ Maxx, and I think that's it. Yeah, They're actually putting in an Ulta there and I'm really excited because I've never had an Ulta near me ever. <laughs> um, so that will be fun because I've never been in one. So I'm excited to see that. I like that idea of Ulta a little better than Sephora because Ulta carries like the drugstore brands too. So you have the option of looking at both high-end brands and drugstore brands. So yeah, that's my two cents. But we're going to just look around for some Father's Day things and just for fun. Okay, I have a topic for you guys to tell me about in the comments. So. I recently discovered the show Twin Peaks. I have never heard of it before. I was born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, knew nothing about this show, probably because I was like, what, two or three when it came out. Because I think it aired in 1990. Well, and show you that two <laughs> It's a little, it would be intense for a two or three year old. But um, I've been watching it because I think I saw, it might have been Lip Balm Queen thing like something about it or I can't remember but um it's a crazy show you guys it's one of those things where you're like what is going on but you can't stop watching because it's really interesting so let me know if you've heard of it if you've watched it if you're gonna watch the uh new season that's coming out I think it's on stars they're launching it or Showtime I can't remember but uh, we don't have cable TV so I'm just watching it on Netflix but um, they are bringing out a season three there if you don't know what it is it's kind of like a psychological thriller that mystery show that came out in the 90s and it's based around a girl who is murdered and the whole two seasons is like you're trying to figure out who did it and there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in this little town it takes say, place would you say that they're it's a lot of overacting and it's, like weirdness. Well, Phil walked in, everything. like he walked in at the part where they're at a funeral and the father of the girl that died like oh. falls onto this coffin oh, yeah. and he's like screaming. <laughs> and yeah, I would say there's a lot of overacting in my opinion, but just compared to like, you can tell that it was filmed in the early nineties because the acting over the years has just gotten a lot better do you know what i mean so in my opinion it's still a good show it's a lot of fun to watch but i think it's supposed to be kind of scary but to me it's not because it's almost so cheesy that it's but you can't stop watching yeah but it's interesting i will check back in with you guys when we get to dollar tree okay liam say bye 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 say bye 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 bye, bye. say woohoo Say Dollar Tree. Three. Say I love Dollar Tree. Love <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, explosives. I'm just sparklers and stuff. What's this? Party time. Party poppers. Hmm. Pretty cool. Wow. 
on. They have dad hats. Totally awesome dad hats for your dad. There's orange, there's blue. Which one do you want? Which one do you want to take home? Red. That's orange. Red. That's orange. Orange. You want orange? Red or orange? You, which one do you... Do you want to get two? You can get two. Do you want red and blue? You want to get those two? Okay. All American What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Guys, look what I found. Hold still. For a dollar, that is, and this is good quality trim brand. Mm -hmm. And look, here's the Rimmel. Hey guys, welcome back to Pump Your Life. So, it is Monday evening. Um, we just spent the day at the pool, and I have a shower, <laughs> so, um, we had some yummy dinner and now I'm sitting down with my nice hot cup of tea that my husband just made me. It's chamomile mint, I think. And my, do you guys like my little mermaid mug? <laughs> um, but I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul because you guys saw, if you saw the intro, that we went to Dollar Tree. We didn't get to film a whole lot in the store um, just because our phone ran out of space but we had a lot of fun just walking around and we actually went to a couple other stores um, to get me some shoes and we ended up getting some yummy takeout that night so yeah it was a lot of fun but anyway let's go ahead and get into the haul so I don't have everything that I got because two of the items were for my dad for Father's Day. It was a bag of chocolates, Russell Stover's caramels, which are his favorites, and then I got him a card. Sorry, three things because I got him a card from Phil and I, and then I also got him a card from um, Liam. And then we also picked up cards for Phil, which he's already read, obviously, because this is after Father's Day, but I just thought I'd show you guys. Um, so this was the one that I got him, and it's just, I love the little picture. And then this is the one that Liam picked out for Phil, so I thought that was really cute. And I love Dollar Tree for cards. We get all of our holiday cards and stuff there because it's just so much cheaper, like for birthdays and stuff. Um, and then we did pick up some, a couple practical things. We get all of our um, like headache medicine and stuff there because it works so well. Also the um, Assured brand, which is the in-house brand at Dollar Tree, they do a, um, their own version of like Dayquil and NyQuil. Those work so well and it's honestly the same ingredients that's in the name brand. So I love getting the aspirin there or the ibuprofen. Um, it works great and for a dollar you get 40 caplets. That's awesome. And then I just found this uh, a little while ago, well, I shouldn't say I just found this. I discovered this a couple months ago and then ran, we ran out and I went back and repurchased it because I get migraines. This is the Assured Tension Headache Relief. And it says compared to Excedrin. And I have to tell you guys, this works really well. Now, it's not as strong as Excedrin Migraine, but I'm finding that it actually works better for me to take a lower dosage um, of painkiller than what's in Excedrin that has, I think it has um, ibuprofen and Tylenol mixed together. This tends to help me better because I can actually have it a couple more times throughout the day than I can have Excedrin. So yeah, I really like this and it works. It really does help my headaches get better. So definitely would recommend that if you see it. 
And then I found this and I was so excited, you guys. How many of you remember Tybo? <laughs> um, I used to do this with my mom and my sister and I loved it. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Phil and I are really trying to start a new chapter in our life where we are just healthier and exercising more, eating better. And I just thought, you know what, I know it's cheesy, but it's something fun to do. So I feel like exercise should be fun. And so find things that you really enjoy. And when I saw this for a dollar, I was like, yes, I want to try this again. So yeah, really cheesy picture on the front too. But he's a lot of fun and he's really motivating Billy Blanks. I love his workout videos. I think they're fun. So anyway, I'm excited to do that. And then I also picked up two of these containers. You guys, I have been so impressed with these. I have some of the bigger ones. I have one of the gallon ones that we actually use for a water pitcher in our refrigerator. And then I have the ones with the green lids, which I think are about like maybe twice the size of this or a little bit more, maybe not twice. But these make excellent pantry storage containers. I've bought expensive ones before that don't work nearly as good as this. It keeps your food really fresh. I put... Liam's goldfish crackers in here instead of keeping them in the bag we put them in our pantry like this they stay nice and fresh they don't get stale I've had pretzels in one we keep like our nuts and um, crackers and things in these and it just makes it really nice because sometimes I'll make up little snack mixes for Liam like with Cheerios and raisins and stuff and um, you can see exactly what's in there and they wash really easy they are I believe these are, B yes, they're BPA free, which is awesome. So if you've never um, grabbed these, I definitely recommend them. The lids screw on nice and tight. So yeah, I really, really like these a lot. Okay, I also picked up a new water bottle. If you guys see these again, I love these. These are also BPA free. I believe, yep, BPA free. And um, yeah, it says it right there. I've had... The other two that I had, I had an orange one and a pink one. I had them since before Liam was born and used and abused them. And guys, they held up so well. The only reason we ended up getting rid of them is because <laughs> we were actually fostering some little kittens that were orphaned. And we were using it as like a formula shaker because with baby kittens, you have to use the kitten formula. And it just, the smell didn't come out of the bottle and I wasn't drinking water out of that. So I needed a new one. But yeah, I love these because you can open them and there's a nice wide mouth to put ice or fruit or whatever you want in your water. So I definitely recommend these. They hold up extremely well. Now I wouldn't put them in the dishwasher, but I don't have a dishwasher. So I just hand wash mine. Okay, I also picked up some of these really cute sticker, sticker, I don't know what I'm saying, sticker note flags. I just like the bright colors. I thought these would make really nice like headers for my um, planner or my journal or also in another notebook that I purchased and I'll show you that in a minute. But love that, you get 300 for a dollar. And then I found this amazing picture frame. I love the silver color and it's plastic but it looks like it would be like sil real silver. It's so pretty. So I have a picture of Phil and I from when we were dating in our bedroom that's in a frame that um, doesn't really go with our room decor so I want to transfer it into this because this will match the other frame on our dresser. Um, I found these really cute stickers and I could not leave them behind because I just think cupcakes are so cute and they just have like the cute look little chocolates and candies and cupcakes with sprinkles and who doesn't want a cherry on top of their cupcake even if you don't want to eat it you have to admit that it looks adorable so yeah I just thought that was really cute and a little gummy bear oh my goodness so much fun I I did get two packs of stickers one for Liam and one for my nephew and they were really cute guys they had fishes with googly eyes but Liam couldn't wait he wanted to play with them so I just let him have them and I also got them I got Liam two little monster trucks. We always say when we go to Dollar Tree, if he's good and he listens in the cart and doesn't scream and throw fit, that he gets to pick out a prize. So um, he loves getting the little cars from there. I'll be honest, they don't hold up very well, but I have found that the monster truck ones 
do last pretty well for us. The little, unless they're actually like the Matchbox or Hot Wheels brand, the other little cars they have haven't really held up so well for us, at least not with my two-year-old, but you'll have to make your judgment, but he does love picking them out. So um, I also picked up this composition notebook and of course a hot pink color because I love pink. And this is going to be for um, my new project, which my husband and I are doing. It's called Whole30. And basically for 30 days, you let your body go through kind of like a sugar detox. So you can't eat anything that has added sugar. You're not supposed to eat any carbs. Um, you basically can eat meat um, and fruits and vegetables, and then you can have some nuts and seeds. And I think you can use like coconut oil and olive oil and things like that. But um, we actually just started it today, this Monday, and it's, I forget what the date is. I think it's June 19th, I believe. Um, so yeah, today's our first day doing it. I feel pretty good today. I've been a little edgy because I know I'm addicted to sugar. So, um, yeah, I want to use this to put recipes in, to do our grocery list in, just because there are a lot of restrictions. So it'll just help to keep me organized. Plus, it motivates me because it's pretty. And then last but not least, we picked up a bunch of fizzy waters. My husband and I absolutely love fizzy water or carbonated water, whatever you want to call it. And we only get the kind that doesn't have any sweetener in or even artificial sweetener. We just like the plain seltzer water that has like fruit essence. So it's not sweet at all. It's just really refreshing because the bubbles just taste really good, I guess. Not taste good, but it's just like makes it taste even colder and more refreshing than regular water. And I was really excited because they had these LaCroix, I think is how you say it, LaCroix, LaCroix, I'm not exactly sure, but these are expensive. I've seen these at Target for like maybe $3 um, and they're not cheap. So to get a big liter like this for a dollar, I picked up like four of them and we've drank through most of them already. And then I also love, this is a brand you'll find at um, Dollar Tree a lot. This is the Sparkling Raspberry Lime, um, the Poland Spring. This is also really good. And just make sure if you're looking for like a healthy, uh, seltzer water, I mean it really is not bad for you, that you read the ingredients. It should just say on here, if I can find it, yeah, spring water, um, the carbonation, and natural flavors. So this doesn't have any sodium, it doesn't have any like aspartame or like sweet and low or anything in it. And I know everybody has their own opinions about that stuff, but I do know from what I've researched, I just wanna avoid that stuff because um, I've just heard it's not really good for you. So yeah, that has helped us though. If you're looking for something to kind of help you get off of soda, that has helped me. I used to drink it with fruit juice in, and now I've gotten to the point where I just like it plain because I love the taste of it just by itself. But I don't even crave soda anymore. I know like a couple weeks ago, I not weeks ago, it was like actually a couple days ago, I was out with my mom and my sister and we stopped at KFC for lunch and I got a Mountain Dew just because I was like, oh, I haven't had one forever, I'm going to try it. I couldn't even drink it, you guys, because I'm so not used to how sugary soda is, but um, it's just so sweet. It's okay as a treat, but I just don't prefer to drink it that often, especially because it triggers migraines for me. So yeah, but anyway, I'm just rambling. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So that's everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just kind of a small haul, but I thought I'd share. And I was, again, if you see these, I definitely recommend picking them up. They're really, really good. But the Poland Springs are just as good. So yeah, I love you guys. As always, remember that you're beautiful, you're special, unique, and loved, and no one can tell you any different. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.